Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for telling my wife her crypto losses aren't my problem. I30M didn't come from much, grew up in a poor family, and even started off my adult life with about $300,000 and in student debt. My wife, on the other hand, comes from a family swimming in money. When we got married, she had a net worth of $31 and million. Yeah, you read that right. Now, right from the jump, she made it clear that her inheritance and her wealth weren't going to be something I could touch. We signed a prenup that basically said her money stays her money, and I can't touch it even if she passes away. Like if she dies, I wouldn't even get the typical spousal third of her estate. It'd all go to her siblings or any future kids. My debt and our incomes were also split. Honestly, it wasn't a huge deal for me. I'm not here to mooch off her. I was determined to make my own money, and I agreed to it all. As a man, I wanted to pull myself up by my bootstraps. One thing that actually worked out in my favor was that since our incomes were separate, I could keep what I earned. I've always made a little more than her, so it wasn't a big problem overall. Fast forward five years into this marriage, and I still don't have anywhere near her wealth, like, not even close. But here's where things get interesting. Her investments have been tanking. She decided to throw her money into crypto, despite me telling her it was a bad idea. And we all know how volatile crypto can be, right? Well, she went all in on this cryptocurrency called Monero. This year alone, Monero's down 47%. And to make things worse, about 5% of her assets were tied up in FTX, the exchange that just went bankrupt. So, she's taken a major hit. Her net worth has dropped from $31 in million to around $18 in million. Yeah, she's still rich, like, a super rich, but she's been losing big time, and it's stressing her out. Now, I don't touch crypto. I've been investing in index funds, much safer in the long term. Sure, they've taken a hit this year too, but historically, they always bounce back. Meanwhile, with crypto, especially Monero, there are no guarantees. The other day, I came home to find her crying after she found out about the FTX bankruptcy. She'd lost a chunk of her money, and honestly I did feel bad. I told her, that's rough, and I meant it I wasn't being sarcastic or anything. Then I went upstairs to change. When I came back down she was still upset, saying I was being too nonchalant about the whole thing. She was going on and on about how I didn't care that she lost all that money. That's when I pointed out that she's still sitting on $18 a million. Like, let's not forget, she's a still incredibly wealthy despite some poor financial decisions. And you know, she could stop investing in crypto anytime she wanted to. I mean, she's the one who wanted to keep our finances separate, so why is she suddenly acting like I need to help fix her problem? She wasn't happy with my response. And now we're kinda in this weird place where she's acting like I'm the bad guy for not being more sympathetic. But like, what am I supposed to do here? She made these decisions, and I warned her beforehand that crypto wasn't a safe bet. Edit. Some people are asking about the prenup, and yeah, we both had lawyers. Hers was way more expensive than mine, but I wasn't tripping about it. I'm not trying to rely on her money anyway. The prenup just confirmed that we're keeping our finances separate and honestly, I was cool with that. I'm not here to get a piece of her family's wealth, I've got my own financial goals and I'm focused on those. Just to clarify, she uh, chose to invest in Monero and stick with crypto. I had no say in that. She's been doing her thing, and it's not like I'm cheering for her losses or anything. I just don't think I need to play the role of her financial advisor when we've made it clear that our money is separate. So, I uh, for telling her that her investing losses aren't my problem. I get that losing money sucks, but we've always had separate finances, and I don't see why this should suddenly change things. AITA for refusing to pay for my stepdaughter's tuition because she wants to be a doctor? My wife and I have been married for a solid decade. She's a stay-at-home wife and we don't have kids of our own, but she has a daughter, Sarah, from a previous relationship. Now, Sarah and I get along fine most of the time. She's in college now, junior year, pursuing a biology degree because she's had this long-time dream of becoming a doctor. 
She's been talking about it since her mom and I first met. But here's the catch, she's just not a strong student, especially in the subjects that matter most for med school. Sarah's been struggling with her science and math classes, failing her biology one course initially, only to retake it for a B, she's made C as in higher level biology and chemistry classes. Sure, she's pulling as in non-science and non-math courses, which is padding her GPA to a 3.2. But, as far as I've researched, med schools want to see top grades in science and math. I mean, we're talking serious competition, and with Sarah's current grades I don't see her getting into any med school. I don't know any doctors personally, so I did some digging online. From what I found, a high GPA in science and math is non-negotiable. I also looked into nursing schools as a possible alternative to med school, but even those require higher grades than what Sarah's been managing. When I brought this up with my wife, she wasn't having it. She argued that med schools look at more than just grades, Sarah's got a strong volunteer background and genuinely cares about people. My wife believes Sarah will shine in interviews, but I don't see how that'll matter if she can't meet the basic GPA requirements. So, I decided to have a talk with Sarah over Thanksgiving break. I suggested she consider switching to a more realistic major, something that might actually lead to a decent job. Sarah got upset and ran straight to her mom, and things escalated quickly. We ended up in a big argument, and yeah, I'll admit, I lost my cool. I flat out told them both that I'm not going to keep wasting money on something that I think she's destined to fail at. I said I wasn't going to pay for next semester's tuition unless she changes her major to something more practical. Now, I feel guilty. I'm not made of money, and I can't keep throwing cash at a dream that seems like it's slipping further and further away with every semester. Am I wrong for wanting her to switch gears before it's too late? The main reason I'm pushing for her to change majors is that I've seen firsthand how useless a biology degree can be without an advanced degree to back it up. I have a few friends who got biology degrees and didn't pursue further education, and none of them have jobs remotely related to their field. One of them had to go back to school for something else, one's been a receptionist for two decades, and another's an assistant manager at Lowe's. While those jobs are perfectly respectable, none of them needed to spend four years studying biology to get there. I'm still willing to support her financially if she chooses a major that'll actually help her land a decent job. I just don't want her ending up in a situation where she's spent years pursuing a degree she can't use. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.